Today, we're going to be taking a look at another little pistol SMG hybrid, and no, this time it's not the Renetti. We're going to be taking a look at the X13 auto pistol from Modern Warfare 2, and when we put the impact point barrel on this thing, it turns it into a little pocket sized SMG. This loadout was recommended to me by a subscriber down in the comments, and I'm really glad that they did because this thing is awesome. So with that, welcome on back to the channel, everybody. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. I appreciate everybody that stops by the video today. If you're into zombies content or anything Call of Duty, consider rocking the hell out of that like button, man, and subscribing to the channel. We just hit 15,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys for all the love and support lately. Now I can't wait to get into everything about this pistol, but really quick, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. Shout out to Damn Mods for sponsoring today's video. Whether you're tired of getting shadow banned on Warzone or you really want to unlock that Borealis camo in Modern Warfare Zombies, well, Damn Mods has completely got you covered. Call of Duty isn't the only stopping point, whether you play games like Helldivers 2, Forza, Pal World, Red Dead Redemption, Damn Mods can definitely help you out with almost any of your favorite games. With so many great reviews on Trustpilot, it's an absolute no brainer to check them out. Links are down in the description. Use code GHOST to check out for 5% off your entire order. Thank you so much to Damn Lots for sponsoring today's video. Now, is it just me or have the servers the last couple of days been really bad? Because I've had quite a few matches that have just ended in pure tragedy. Let's get into this pistol, guys. When I immediately took this thing into the second tier zone, I was impressed right off the bat. The handling seemed pretty good, the movement was pretty good, and it was just taking out these zombies with ease. We finally got our PAP 3 and we made our way into the red tier zone and I decided to fight this mega abomination. And I gotta say, the damage that it was doing was actually quite impressive but the one problem that this gun has is that even with the maga holding it only holds 400 rounds and you're gonna go through those really quick this thing shoots really fast and especially when you don't have to stop firing you're gonna burn through that ammo let's be honest nine times out of ten whenever you're fighting a mega abomination there's gonna be other zombies and stuff around you too that you're usually shooting at now we were able to kill this guy really fast but we did have to stop i pulled out the wonder Wolf and i had to kill a bunch of zombies just so i could collect some ammo to finish them off but just look at how well and how fast this thing is doing dealing with these tier 3 zombies and the disciple, the mangler that was also behind me. It's just dealing with all the bosses really fast. See, this is like what I was talking about in my previous video when I was talking about certain guns that are just good with everything. This is kind of one of those guns. Where I really didn't mind using the ISO hemlock. It really wasn't that bad and it was really fast on killing those mega abominations for sure, but it was not the greatest weapon when just killing zombies in like the red tier zone or dealing with the other bosses. Now this thing is just shredding everything. Yeah, you're definitely not going to hear too many complaints out of me about this thing my only big complaint and big drawback to this weapon is just how much ammo that it holds next we ended up getting this hvt here on a mangler and it ended up taking him down surprisingly fast plus the mega abomination that charged across the screen right at the end of it almost gave me a damn heart attack so after messing around in the red tier zone for quite a while i figured it was finally time to go on into the elder dark ether well at least i thought it was but as soon as i tried to go into this thing the servers crashed and kicked me out of the game and i ended up losing everything i was like all right that sucks but we need to come back here and try this again i grabbed another operator that actually had some stuff on him and I put a bunch of all my best stuff in the backpack and I started another match took about 30 steps forward instantly lagged out of the game and lost all that stuff too so this dark ether run that you're seeing right here on the screen is actually the third attempt and I was finally able to get in here server's been this bad for anybody else lately I do play on ps5 and from what I've noticed at least all the way up until season 3 the servers for me have been okay I've crashed a nice handful of times but since season 3 has started it's gotten a little crazy we're down here at our age HVT and of course we got the mega abomination like we always get like nine times out of ten my first head came off pretty easy but there were so many zombies down here I figured we'd be better off if we lured him up out of the fog this guy did the same thing that we had happen a few videos back when he jumped on top of the building this guy did the same exact thing just don't make the mistake that I did here and with zero plates stand directly underneath of his beams because he will put you down pretty fast and since season three this dark ether is definitely a lot harder than it was in the beginning of season two reloaded it used to be really easy to come in here with almost Almost nothing and complete this dark ether now I would actually highly recommend that you guys bring in like that golden armor and ether blade stuff like that it's really gonna help you out while doing this now I'm not gonna lie it did take us a minute or two and he did end up putting us down once but we were able to kill this HVT with this pistol alone and that actually is kind of impressive there's not very many guns in the game that can actually do that confidently but after defeating this guy this was one hell of a pull guys we ended up getting a flawless crystal we got that blood burner key plus the blood burner key schematics and we got another elder sigil the loot on this run was absolutely insane. You guys are going to see at the end of the match. You guys feel like the loot's been buffed up in here just a little bit as well? The last few times 
times that I've been in here in this dark ether, it does seem like it is a lot harder, but the loot is quite a bit better. We just started our holdout mission here, and if you guys need to know where anything is in this dark ether, I'm actually going to throw up a map up on the screen right here just for reference for you guys. I had stupidly got caught up by some zombies, and I ended up using my last self res in here, so we're running without a self res, which was actually worrying me quite a bit because the stash is looking a little bit bare right now, and we had a lot of good loot this run. I figured we should switch to these monkey bombs. I was going to save them for the ether extractors, but you're going to see me just bash this mangler in the face with a monkey bomb. <laughs> that was probably my favorite moment of this whole run. I was like, no way that actually just happened. <laughs> this X-13 was handling these dark ether zombies really well, actually. The power is definitely there. Just keep in mind that you're going to have to be picking up ammo as much as possible. Now, I remember trying this gun a long time ago, and I don't remember it being anywhere close to this good. Not only is it a good gun to deal with the red zone zombies and deal with all the bosses out there, but it's also an excellent choice to bring into the dark ether as well. well if I can bring it in here and do this all solo and get all these schematics and everything, so can you guys. With this holdout mission finally done, look at the loot out of this one. We got those VR11 schematics. We got another Elder Sigil plus another Bloodburner Bite Key. I'm telling you guys, the loot out of here lately has been really good. You know you're actually getting some decent stuff when it actually takes you a few moments and you really gotta decide what you wanna drop on the ground and leave behind. It can definitely be a huge pain when trying to deal with those ether extractors, which we're about to go do right now. Since we used our monkey bombs during our holdout mission, unfortunately, we're gonna have to rely completely on our decoys and we're gonna have to go and refill up on them halfway through doing the contract. So if you're running low on decoys or whatever, just repeat what I do right here and you should be able to get this contract done. Still keep in mind that I'm running without a self-res, so I am absolutely sweating. Out of all the contracts, this is the one that always bugs out on me and it's usually always during that last ether extractor and then that's when I go down because there's just too many zombies around. Luckily on this one, we were definitely able to pull through. Refill up our decoys right here. If I was being smart, I would have dropped one and then stashed it so that way I could have had three of them. But at the end of this contract, once you finally get that very last one to explode a majority of the zombies should blow up for some reason during this contract a lot of them don't that decoy would have definitely helped just so we could grab our rewards out of here but instead we just had to run around and kill a bunch of zombies so that way we could fill up our ether shroud and get an easy way in that way you guys are going to notice here once i got this contract done i opened up my backpack and just took a look and i'm like wait a minute wait even if there's good stuff in here that i want where am i going to put it after checking in here we ended up getting that mega holding schematic so you know i'm going to stash that thing got all three of those new schematics in a single run so i'll definitely take take those. Plus we got another mega holding acquisition, could never go wrong with that. Now that my backpack is completely full with some of the best goodies that we can get in this game, we need to head over to the exfil. I don't want to chance something weird happen, maybe us going down again, or maybe the game just oddly crashes. I swear you absolutely never know with this game. We had a lot of zombies on our tail too, dogs nipping at me and everything. Could you just imagine going down like right outside of the exfil? Oh man, I swear, I think I might delete this game. But in all seriousness, I was actually really happy with this X-13. Like I said earlier, it is just a really good versatile gun that you can use doing almost anything in modern warfare zombies and this is definitely a gun that i can highly recommend that you guys try out here we are we finally made it to our x fill and take a look at this guys we ended up getting all of those schematics we got that blood burner key we ended up getting two refined crystals a flawless crystal plus a mag of holding i've just oh my god i'm blown away by the loot on this run but it's going to be up on the screen if you guys want to check out what i was rocking thank you guys again for recommending the loadout to me if you guys got any other loadouts that you want me to try be sure to leave them down in the comment section if you guys enjoyed the video dropping a like on it would mean the world to me subscribe to the channel if anybody is new i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next one